participant in this show and I decided to choose They Can't Represent Us by Marina Sidrin and Dario Asolini. And essentially I chose this book because it's a reflection from people who participated in the movements of 2011 uh, globally. And it's a comparative look of different social movements. Um, and I'm actually in this book myself as a participant in Occupy Wall Street. Um, so maybe I'll just read a little bit of uh, passages from this, this book. So, practicing new forms of democracy. The most obvious shared characteristic of the various popular mobilizations around the globe in recent years is their deeply egalitarian and democratic character. But there is no single mode of people's democracy that can be applied indiscriminately in the various contexts of mobilization as a counter to liberal democracy. The movements do not have a detailed proposal to institutionalize and in fact, as Amador from Madrid comments in relation to 15M, neither do they want one. What does the movement propose? That's unclear. We do not know exactly what real democracy now means. Everyone has their own version of what real democracy now means. That opens a space for a lot of people. A lot of people share a discomfort regarding the idea that what we have is supposed to be democracy. But if we start to, if we start asking ourselves what a real democracy looks like, it is not very clear. And it goes on and on um, to describe different forms here. Um, Habermas and the, tr the civil society in the space of the square, etc. Um, essentially, no one uh, has a set model. There are experiments and there are um, suggestions made by different theorists, but there's never uh, one model that emerges from any of these situations. And that's, that's basically the, the the thesis of this book. Occupy. Dating the beginning of Occupy is not as easy as it may seem. Many use September 17th, 2011, the day of actions and assemblies that ended with the first night of the occupation of Sakati Park. We agree with this, but also see the need to place it in the context of the preceding weeks as well as the history of movements in the U.S. Since one of the authors was a participant in Occupy, as well as in the assemblies and organizing leading up to the New York, the New York General Assembly, what follows is based on recollections and contemporaneous notes. And it goes on to describe the process. It's basically just a history and overview. And then uh, some information about the context of the economic crisis and interviews, including myself. I said, demands are limitations, right? You can go out and take a street corner and put up a soapbox and then the police will come and attack you. And you are negotiating in that moment because they confronted you. They came to you and forced a negotiation. But a demand is going to them and recognizing their power. And I wanted to avoid that with Occupy. I wanted to avoid making demands altogether. And we had that discussion over and over again early on before September 17th. And it was tabled every time. People were just not really interested in pursuing demands. In direct democracy, everyone's a leader. Everyone's empowered to make decisions about what affects them. The problem is the ossification of leadership in the form of institutional structure. So having any kind of permanent position and or executive ability to make decisions so that what we tried to do was set up step up, step back, rotation of leadership so that people can take on specific tasks and if, and if, they, have a, if they have particular skills and then they can bring those forward and they can also share those skills and bring in new people. And I think that's how you maintain a horizontal movement. 
So there's this whole question of, you know, how do these global movements relate to each other? Um, how do movements extend beyond these moments of, of revolt, moments of rupture? I came to Paris basically for Nuit Debout um, to explore the possibility of connecting these movements further and to learn, um, to share these experiences, to develop uh, better ways of operating so as to really build a horizontal global movement now.